My name is Stefan Gerling. I'm working for the Kaspersky ICS third team and uh, doing research in anyhow industrial things. So industrial things could be Internet of Things, uh, routers, uh, charging stations, power devices, whatever. So when it has a network cable or frequency stuff to, oper uh, to communicate with, that's the things that we do. I found some vulnerabilities in uh, solar power plants and currently we are not able to present uh, details about the vulnerabilities because it's a zero day. When you think further then, maybe it is possible to script them, make an exploit that you can trigger all the devices at the same time and then um, calculate uh, the sum of power generation that we have control over and then Oh, well, the story is a little bit bigger. It was no detail about the vulnerabilities, but um, in end effect, we have a story about it has impact on the stability on the European grid. Quite many devices uh, all over the world are installed. So 2,500 devices installed over the uh, worldwide uh, that you can find on the internet. I think the worst thing that could happen is if I have enough of those devices online, maybe I find another vendor with similar problems, um, then I have anyhow so much energy that I can control, that I can force a blackout in your problem is, there are so many devices for solar generation, uh, solar power generation, so um, for example, the, every time when you have an, a solar panel on your roof, you need a power inverter for that, that's then providing the energy to the grid. These power inverters have mostly a network cable, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, whatever. So it, they are connected anyhow to the internet. And most of those devices you can find on the internet. And that's the problem. So you can start buying those stuff, looking for vulnerabilities in that, and then looking up, okay, how many are on there? And uh, yeah, then you have to find a way how to trigger that and um, find uh, yeah, the levels of balance that the grid provider are able to do and to force a blackout for example you have to over exceed those levels of um, yeah, balancing. The problem is always when you shut off immediately a big load. So when you shut off for example uh, we had on the 8th January or 8 February, we had some kind of an event. Three power plants at the same time were switched off. And that led to an event that the grid operator um, just cut off uh, part of the networks. So this country uh, was completely cut off with a blackout uh, for that country, but the rest of the European grid was stable. But you can see it everywhere in, um, in some frequency meters. Some of them are reacting like, oh, thanks, uh, very helpful for us. Uh, please give more details, we will do, uh, we will cooperate and so on. That's a good way. You also have then, um, yeah, the not so good ones are then a slow reaction, no reaction. Uh, and the really bad ones then, uh, they directly put your lo the lawyers on you and so why you are reversing our stuff and uh, hacking or looking for vulnerabilities for that. So, I'm not looking for vulnerabilities, I found them by accident. Well. <laughs>